As a true watch enthusiast, you naturally want to know how your watch works, which can be confusing at times. In this video, we will quickly shed light on the three most common ways that make your watch tick. Quartz, manually wound, and automatic, or self-winding for that matter. Let's get right into it. Quartz watches are powered by a battery, which is why they are also simply referred to as a battery-powered watch. However, it's their built-in quartz crystal that not only gives this watch type its name, but regulates the movement. Simply put, a quartz movement utilizes a battery as its primary power source and an integrated circuit to transport the current. To create power in quartz watch movements, a battery transmits a signal to a small quartz crystal, electrifying the crystal to create vibrations. These vibrations drive the movement and keep the hands ticking. Mechanical watches, on the contrary, can take two shapes, manually wound and self-winding. Unlike quartz movements, they operate without a battery, but make use of four core elements instead. A power source, transmission, distribution, and regulation. A mechanical movement uses energy from the wound mainspring to power a watch. Once wound, the spring slowly unwinds and transfers its energy through a number of springs and gears that regulate the release of energy. This energy is then transferred to turn the watch hand. The second type of mechanical watch, called the automatic or self-winding, largely works the same way as a manual movement. However, while the latter one's mainspring is wound by hand, the automatic movement uses a weight called the rotor. The rotor is typically anchored concentrically and connected to the movement. With each movement of the wrist, the rotor rotates and spins around. The spinning rotor then winds the mainspring, which keeps the watch ticking. Summing up, the three main types of watch movements are quartz, manually wound, and automatic. 